Sadly, guys, I cannot think of an intro for this for this movie. Fuck. Some people have to learn. Some people wait to turn. Some people have to fight. Some people give the lie. Some people don't believe. Yeah. But I was born a champion. Hey there, you two. Lucas Stringer here. And today for you guys, I'm going to review The Guard. Now, I bet most of my fans are probably wondering what this movie is. Well, this was um, an independent movie, um, a British movie, starring um, Brendan Gleeson and um, Don Cheadle. And um, my brother was going to go see it, and he asked me to go. And I said, sure, what the heck? I don't, I can't really go. To, I don't really have time to go to the movies nowadays. So, I, so it's a movie. I'm going to go see it. And this movie was really good. I really liked this movie. Um, it was enjoyable. It was fun. And um, I'll just wait for that for my overall. I'm an idiot. Well, the guard basically follows Brendan Gleeson. He's an Irish policeman, and um, he has to team up with an FBI agent who's played by Don Cheadle, because they're tr then they have to solve some sort of um, some like international drug smuggling ring or something. I can't really remember. Now the performances were pretty good in this movie, especially from Brendan Gleeson. He was awesome in this movie. He was so funny. He was like the most badass character of them all, and he's like sixty years old, even more badass than the villain, who I'm going to mention later. I really liked Don Cheadle in this movie. He added some comic relief to the film, which this movie did have a lot. And um, he did a really good performance. He um definitely didn't do as good as Brendan Gleeson because I loved him in that because I loved Brendan Gleeson in this movie. But Don Cheadle was very good as well. Now guess who played the villain in this movie? Mark Strong. Oh my God, he played a villain in a movie. How was that possible? I hope you can catch up on my sarcasm because he's basically the villain in every movie. But hey, he's good at it. I'm not gonna judge. Anyway, let's just get on to what I did like and what I didn't like about this movie. Now, for what I did like, this movie was really funny. I mean, this had a lot of sharp humor. Very sharp. Very, very sharp humor. And that was used in the perfect spot. I mean, you know what? This movie's a like crime thriller comedy. And um, they put the humor in right where it needed to be. They hit the right notes for where they had to put comedy in. A lot of movies like that, when they ha when it's also like a comedy, like a horror comedy, sometimes they put in comedy where it didn't really need to be. Example, for like Fright Night, which came out earlier this year. Well, in August. And um, But this one, it, they put it in perfectly. Perfectly. Now, the script was fantastic. Now, the director of this movie and, and screenplay writer, John Michael McDonough, I think his, I think his name is, this is his first, like, directed movie, like, a big movie. He's only directed a couple short films. He did a great job as director for this movie. I can't wait to see more of his work. Um, I bet he's going to make a lot more independent movies in the future, and I cannot wait to watch them, because he did for he did a great impression on me for this movie. And also, I just got to mention quickly, this movie is brilliantly paced. It, it, the pacing was just absolutely terrific. Just perfect. Maybe almost. Now, just for what I didn't like, it was sometimes it was a little bit too slow. It kind of felt like two hours, and it was only an hour and a half movie. And um, sometimes I I would lose interest in some scenes. Like sometimes I'm just watching, I'm like, yeah, it's, it can be pretty bad when I when that happens with movies, in my opinion. Well, overall, you guys, The Guard is a really good movie. I mean, I don't really think that you should that you need to rush out to go see theaters for this movie. You can just rent. You can give it for rent. You can just get it for rental, and may, or maybe if you want to see it in theaters, am I gonna see this movie again? Probably not. But I still had a good time. Overall, I'm gonna give The Guard a four out of five stars. So that's my review of The Guard, guys, and I really hope you enjoy my review. And I'm Lucas Stringer. I'll see you guys later.